This is Craig Miller, a working class Edinburgh suburb and now a heartland of the yes vote, where once they voted Labour, now they seem to have switched over or switched off. From those we've talked to here today, there's not a lot of trust for any of the parties right now, and yet they still have a yearning to see an independent Scotland flourish. We've always been ruled, ruled by England, and I just, I would just like to see us be in our own country. William Smith used to vote Labour. He doesn't now. He tells me he's disabled, cared for by his wife, and he's looking to the yes vote to improve his lot. Voting Labour is just getting them a no voter. I just didn't see the point of doing that. When I'm trying to get independence myself, I think this whole area is for independence, to tell you the truth. If, if there was something that the better together, the no vote put on the table, like new powers for Scotland, or they said, well, let you look at income tax and sort out that on your own. Is there anything that could change your mind now? No, no, nothing could change my mind if they vote yes. For a long time, the yes campaign had struggled to attract female voters. The latest poll suggests that gap is now closing. April Dunn has followed the campaigns closely. She says it's the increase in free childcare that's pushed her to want to see Scotland govern itself. Well, I don't like the way the country's being run at the moment. Um, I think it should certainly be fairer. I don't agree with the bedroom tax that they've introduced either. And um, I think that Scotland could do well and prosper with its own revenues that we have. What do you think will decide you? I think it'll be yes, but I want it to be a no because I want to see match of the day on a Saturday. We spoke to around 20 people in this neighbourhood and only one person, a Polish immigrant, told me they were voting for the Better Together campaign. Their work is certainly cut out for them over the next 10 days. The question of why they failed to offer any exciting new powers much earlier or even include them as an option on the ballot paper will haunt them. One thing is clear though, Scotland will never be the same again. Whatever happens next week, the status quo is no longer an option. If Scotland votes yes, it goes independent. If it votes no, well, it still gets more independence. And anyone who thinks that the story ends here in Scotland is sorely mistaken. The genie, it seems, is out of the bottle. And that growing appetite for devolution will happen all over the UK. It looks like it's here to stay.